Good morning, y'all. It is 28 degrees with a 15 mile an hour north wind this morning. And we are going bass fishing, tournament fishing. Uh, first tournament of 2024. And uh, of course it's starting off about right with the weather being 65 yesterday to uh, 25 today with a strong north wind. But I think the fish are still gonna bite. We still got cloud cover, the fish are already. I mean, this time of year being February 17th, the fish ain't up shallow, so it's not like they're gonna get boogered up and push out from shallow water deep. So, uh, you know, I don't think it's really gonna affect them all that much. It's just gonna be, can we handle it, you know, uh, as being as cold as it is. So, uh, we just gotta have to be tough uh, mentally and physically. And, uh, just kind of try not to let the weather uh, spin us out too bad or anything like that. Just go out and go fishing. But of course, uh, I'm, I'm already planning on probably throwing the jerk bait about all day. Like I said, we got some wind, a little bit of clouds right now. I hope the clouds stick around. Honestly, as good as the sun might feel, uh, they're, they're just going to bite better in the clouds. Uh, but the high is only 38 today, so it's, it's going to be brutal. Uh, but, you know. It's part of tournament fishing, I guess. But uh, y'all stay tuned. We'll see y'all in the water. God bless y'all. All right, here we go. First cast. We'll start out with a jerk bait. Party started. I think they're going to bite. I think the water temperature was about 47 on that unit. It's still climbing a little bit. I think we're going to see 48 or 49. Got him. Good one. There's your line pinging a little bit. <clears throat> I'll stay in the middle for the net job if I can so I don't fall in. <laughs> that sounded like it had some weight to it. That's a nice one. Nice one. We'll take it. Definitely a 12 incher. Fat 12 incher too. There you go, brother. Damn. Felt good. Heck yeah. Hey, I want another one of these. Do you? I want another one. Rod feel good? Yeah. About 12 yeah. inches. Got yeah. the old black spot on his noggin and everything. Good job, buddy. Wait. Way to get us started. Heck yeah. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, I'm seeing, I'm seeing fish a little bit deeper on the graph. I may have to switch to a deep one myself. Yep. Can't tell much about him. I don't think he's that big. I think he's All right, I'm just going. Oh, yeah. I'll swing him. I'll swing him. Okay, come on. Fat sweet boy. Good job, man. I was just saying, fixing to say, I think I feel like I need to be throwing a black and blue jig, but then he bit it, and I said, okay, maybe I don't need to be throwing a black and blue. Dirty jig, half uh, 7 16 ounce finesse jig with a F5 mud chunker for a trailer. Let's see if he had any money. All right, two thirds of the way to our limit. $700. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, I got one too. See? Yeah. Sweet. Like a found a little school. Mine was decent. I'll get the net if you need me to. Oh, yeah. Here's a way bigger. Here, let me swing this one in and get yours. We found him a little, found us a little school bird. Oh god, oh god, you're running the wrong way, bud. Yeah, <laughs> you were going to, you were running away from me. <laughs> I wanted to make you work. I see. Hey, we got absolutely bam, bam, bam. Yeah, sure did. That was nice. We had that little school fired up, I guess. The crazy thing was, one was on the deep and one was on the shelf. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job guiding him to you. That's <laughs> I'm going to... I figured you couldn't see him or something. <laughs> I don't know if mine will cool. I know yours will though. Oh hell, we need one more. 
Oh no, well we got two right here, Goover. We got two in the box. Right? Yeah, so oh, now yeah, that's right. we got a <laughs> cool. Man, I'm old and I'm cold. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think mine will cool anything. I'm, oh my gosh, see that's what I'm talking about. Got hooks everywhere. Mega bass hooks don't help nothing. This one we're keeping for sure, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Right but I don't think that this this fish right there is acting goofy. Which one? This one right here. Well, I don't like putting a tag in there now. All right, see, uh, yeah. when you drop him in, pull them other. I don't think this one beats either one of them ones we got in there. Oh, we'll probably bring him into the way in unless we just have a heck of a day at some point. Yeah, he's, he don't beat nothing. Okay. Oh, hey, that was fun. Good job, man. Nice, and that one on the right is a lot, or on your left is a lot fatter. But I think there's one in there about the same size as him. Man. Looks like that one on your left is going to be the smaller one. All right, y'all, that is a wrap for the first tournament of 2024 for the King of Lakes Trail that we fish. We ended up in fifth place. Um, I didn't film the weigh-in. I actually planned on filming the weigh-in, but we had some battery troubles with Chris's truck and uh, ended up dealing with that and just kind of ran late for the weigh-in a little bit and uh, slipped my mind. But anyway, we ended up with a little over six pounds, fifth place. We do a three fish limit. First place had around 11 pounds second place had around 10 pounds and then it kind of fell down to eight seven six um so there were some decent bags weighed for sure all our fish were pretty much twins when it was all said and done chris did catch one more fish off camera that was another one that was probably hair over two pounds um we just never got the big bite and it takes at least one big bite usually to get a top three in our trail uh, most of the time it takes two or three big bites, but th in this case, uh, we just couldn't find a big bite at all. As a matter of fact, all we had was an opening in the morning from probably daylight till about nine o'clock to catch anything at all. Um, our bite just completely shut down. Everybody we talked to back at weigh-in was the same story. They kind of started catching them right off the bat if they caught them at all, and it just dwindled out big time. It's like a a big cutoff mark where the fish just quit biting and i assume it was from the barometer just getting so high and the cold temperatures i mean we were still fighting ice in our guides till like 11 a.m uh but we of course we had like a sustained 20 mile an hour north wind and uh it just got sunnier and sunnier and i think that those high bright skies just ended up affecting the fish uh so that's kind of how it turned out uh but you know still blessed to uh, have a decent tournament get a fifth place finish blessed to be able to fish at all i mean we uh you know the good lord just lets us do a lot of fun stuff here in this life and uh fishing is one of them and and i just am am happy and blessed to be a part of it um also this is the 500 the follow-up for the 500 subscriber video so what we'll do guys is i need 
my new Instagram page to get some love. For some reason, I can't log into my old Instagram page and lost all the followers and stuff I had on that. So I had to create a new Instagram page and it's uh, F5 underscore outdoors and baits. And what I need y'all to do to enter the contest is uh, go on there and I'm gonna, I'm gonna create a post for this. Go on there and comment that you follow the Instagram page and that you're subscribed to the YouTube channel and you automatically be entered. And what we'll do is fishermen, if y'all want to, we'll do two packs of uh, F5 baits, any color choice, any, any bait choice. And uh, my deer hunters and duck hunters or whatever else you're into uh, hunting wise, we'll do a $25 Bass Pro gift card. Fishermen, you can pick that as well. Um, whatever y'all wanna do. So anyway, I'll create a post on the Instagram page. So y'all please go uh, like the page, follow the page, and uh, we'll, we'll go from there. But I appreciate y'all getting us to 500 subscribers. Uh, it's awesome that y'all have done that. I really appreciate it. I'm glad y'all have been patient. Uh, I think this is the first video I put out since like October. I uh, ended up having a baby girl come into the world at Dece on December 11th and just my duck season, we went duck hunting twice and didn't kill much either time. So didn't really have much content to put out for that. So, you know, this is just the first fishing video I've had since then. So thank y'all for being patient, watching some of the old videos and continuing to support me and uh, support the good Lord through, I hope that's what I'm doing here is supporting faith family fins feathers and fur just you know kind of glorifying god and and the creation that he gives us and the fun that he lets us have in the outdoors so thank you all for your subscriptions please continue to follow me i'm going to keep putting out videos as long as the good lord allows it uh, thank you all for watching this one and good lord willing we'll put out another one soon and i'll see you all then thank you all and god bless you